All right, tough question. Took me a while. I got all lost on this one. Hopefully, it will uh, make sense after we go here. So we've got um, Casey. He's driving a 1,600-kilogram car and driving to the east. And she is traveling at 16 meters per second. Always start with a diagram. That will make life a lot easier. And then we've got another person which the person it is, not important, is driving a car that weighs 1,200 kilograms and traveling at some speed. They don't give you the speed, so we're going to call this V2, where this is car one and this is car two. And you're trying to find the speed because after the crash, they come off at a 45 degree angle and I think that's all we know, right? Yeah. So we know they come off at a 45 degree angle. And the question is, what was Carrie's call, car? So this is the uh, Carrie is person number two. And we're going to see if she, she said she was going the speed limit. Was she going the speed limit? So what goes on is that, remember, this is using the law of conservation of momentum. So the momentum has to be conserved, but you have to break it down into the X and the Y components. And so momentum, if you recall, is, is this funny-looking P, and that's just equal to MV. But watch how I break this down. Let's talk about the momentum in the X direction. So the momentum in the X direction is only going to be carried out by car 1. So that's going to be 1,600 times 16. Right? But what is that going to be equal? That's the momentum before the crash has to equal the momentum after the crash. So if we think about after the crash, we've got a velocity, if you will, in the x direction, and we have a velocity in the y, or you could say momentum in the x and momentum in the y. And so the velocity in the x, or the momentum in the x direction would be equal because the cars are going to stick together, right? They're going to be all jammed together it's going to be M1 plus M2, so 1,600 plus 1,200. It's going to be 2,800 times the final velocity, all right? But what is the final velocity? Let's think about this for a moment. Um, the final velocity is this right here. So what I can do is I can use um, trigonometry and you'll see this will make things a lot better if we can figure this out. All right, so I can say the Vx, let's think this through here. We can use cosine. So cosine of 45 is equal to the adjacent Vx over V final. Or I could rewrite this and I can say V final equals cos equals uh, Vx cos 45. And so I can substitute in for Vf. I can say Vx cos 45. What? Vx or what? X is cos. Got it. Okay. Now in the y direction, the p in the y direction is going to be m of car two, because the only, this is before, right? This is the before stage right here. And this is after the collision, right? But there's only, there's no, this car doesn't know why, but this car has the why. It's going to be M times M, if you call it M car two, M2 V2. So that's going to equal to 1200 times V2. This is what we're really trying to solve for, right? So what was her speed? But that's going to be equal to, let's think about this, we can say Vx, Vy, whatever. And as a side note, since this is a 45 degrees angle, you realize that Vx and Vy are the same number. That's huge. So we can say then it equals 2,800 times Vx cos 45. Now, you could say Vy cos 45, 
But since Vx and Vy are the same number, it's the same number. So, yeah. So we now have two equations and two unknowns. So what did I do? I can say Py. I found that was 12.9. So how did I do that? Oh, no, no. All right, I'm going to back up, guys. I do want to know what B final is. I don't need to do that. I'll do that later. Okay. This is just V final. And V final is this number here. So I can do the math, and when I find the final velocity, I just multiply these, divide by 2800, I get 12.9. Right? And to find V2, once I know that, I can say if, if this is 12.9, I can solve for Vx. I then solve for Vx, I plug it back into here, and then I can solve for V2. Right, so I know that Vf is, so if I know that the final, so Vx cos 45, Well, no, I don't think, no, I'm sorry, guys, I can do this. This would still just be V final. And if I know that this is 12.9, because I found it from here, I can plug it back in here and I can find V2, right? So you would just say 1,200 times V2 equals 2,800 times 12.9. And then you do the math, this to this, to whatever, divide, and I get... 18.2 meters per second. Now, on that one, the trick on this, of course, is the question was, if you call, she said she was only going a certain speed, and um, I've lost the numbers on the board. Uh, this is faster. <laughs> she said she was only going 16 meters per second, and she was going 18, so she was speeding, and so Casey, or whatever, I think it's Casey, was lying. So there you go. Solved.